This is WPI, we are the Gordon Library, and this is an overview of locating and utilizing the Gordon Library IQP Research Guide. Let's start by establishing the type of information you'll need to collect given that IQP Research asks students to explore the social, technical, and locally contextual aspects of a project. Students will need a variety of different types of information ranging from statistical data to scholarly research. As such, no single source will provide all the information needed for your project. Enter the IQP Research Guide created by the library with these research needs in mind. To access the guide, click on the Research Guide link on the library homepage, and then click on Subject Guides, and scroll to Interdisciplinary and Global Studies, and click on IQP Library Guide. The pages listed on the left in red function as the table of contents for the guide. First, keywords. Keywords are the important words, concepts, or phrases which dictate the scope and content of your information search. Identifying accurate, precise, and appropriate keywords for your research is not necessarily as easy as it may sound. So look at some of the strategies we recommend here. The next page provides search tips, and the library strongly urges students to use as many of these strategies as you can, specifically using filters, quotations, and or asterisks are very effective methods when searching. Next is the Finding Sources page. And please note, specific databases are not listed here because IQP projects cover so many different topics that librarians can't necessarily put together a short list of the most applicable databases. Instead, subpages provide guidance on how to find sources for each category. Strategies for evaluating sources is next, and we recommend checking out one of the library's standalone videos, which generally speaking, the majority of resources accessed through the library website have already been evaluated for reliability. More importantly, it'll be up to project members to understand what information may be relevant to their project. Next is all the information needed to properly document your research in APA style. There are links to citation management software included, which allow for efficient collection and organization of cited sources. Next are resources with guidance on conducting background chapter research, followed by copyright information regarding the proper use of images, video, and other materials. Finally, there are templates and additional resources. This guide focuses on the resources that are most relevant to the information needs of students conducting research, and it's a good place to start if you're feeling overwhelmed or not exactly sure where to begin. Thanks for stopping by.